Hello everybody, uh, we are going to make a new project and uh, that is the remote control based on this joystick module and for that we will control any uh, robotic vehicle using the RF devices and this RF device is uh, this small transceive modules and this is based on the 433 MHz transceive and uh, these two are there and we are going to use these two in our project and we are not going to use uh, the microcontrol board in this uh, project ready made uh, we are going to make our own so uh, we have got a microcontroller and uh, that is uh, that is at mega eight and uh, also some other components are there uh, to use this to make this uh, project completed and uh, we have developed our own PCB for that and uh, in this you can see here it is our microcontroller and uh, uh, crystal some capacitors and other things are some LED or, and uh, uh, voltage regulator 5 volt voltage regulator a switch and some connectors and in this we have also put a ICSP uh, programming port also so we will be able to program our microcontroller through this and we are making a, ro a robotic uh, remote so let's see how it works we are going to place all the components on this PCB. This PCB we have developed our own as per the diagram. We have attached the PCB and uh, it is a double sided PCB you can see and uh, on this PCB over there we are going to mount the microcontroller and uh, all other components will also be there and there in this other side. Here it is the board is ready you may see the components are placed over there it is a 5 volt regulator and this is crystal and uh, some other small components and connectors are there here it is a switch and on other side of the board you can see it is a microcontroller soldered on the board and it is 8 mega 8 and uh, we are going to program this microcontroller by using this ICSP header and uh, first we will load the bootloader and the video I have already uploaded for the procedure how we can load the bootloader in on the microcontroller using ICSP and you may see my other video and after that we will load the sketch on this microcontroller and uh, also we will connect this transmitter module on this board and as well as we'll connect this joystick and this battery with this circuit so it will be able to control a robotic device and uh, we'll show a demo we'll just move the key joystick key and then we'll see how the values it transmit from this transmitter and on the receiver end what we get and how we will be able to control the robotic vehicle first we will load the bootloader on our microcontroller and after that we will load the sketch and then we will connect all these other parts of this project and let's see how it works here it is I've connected everything with this board this is joystick and this is a uh, transmitter and uh, we have connected the power supply also and I have connected this board with the uh, Arduino board to program first of all I'm going to load the bootloader in this uh, microcontroller 
here we are going to bond the bootloader on this microcontroller and that is the Arduino bootloader and for that we have launched the Arduino ID and uh, first of all we will select the board type and that is that is 8 mega 8 and we will choose programmer as Arduino as ISP and the serial port is COM3 where my this Arduino board is connected and now I'm going to go to tools and uh, then click on the burn bootloader and uh, now you can see this fast blinking started and it indicates it indicates that the bootloader is going to burn on the microcontroller what has chosen and now it is completed you can see over there also uh, it is written that the done burning bootloader now for this uh, transmitter this transmitter I've developed an application and uh, by using that application uh, when we will move this joystick it will detect the position of the joystick and accordingly it will send the data of the joystick position from this transmitter module to this receiver module and uh, I'm going to connect this receiver module to this Arduino board and uh, on the serial port uh, we will be able to get and uh, identify verify the data what we are getting so first of all I'm going to burn an application on this transmitter and for that I have developed an uh, application and uh, that is transmitter 1 that is the application I have developed and uh, you can see in this application I have used the virtual wire.h header file by using that header file I will be sending the data very easily and uh, we are going to bond this application to our Arduino port this transmitter port so uh, we will just go to the upload using programmer and uh, it started now we will be able to see the blinking of the LED and it is indicating that the sketch is going to upload for this transmitter side and now it is uploading and done uploading so the sketch is there now for the transmitter side we have uploaded the sketch and now I have made I have developed an another sketch as for the receiving and that is the receiver one here it is there it is there that is receiver one and uh, we are going to upload this sketch on this board and we'll attach this receiver with this board and we'll be able to get the data through the serial port to our display when we'll move this joystick we have connected our receiver module with the Arduino board and uh, it is connected with 3 wire 2, 4, 5 volt and ground and only one pin is there for the data and that is connected with the pin 3 of the Arduino board and uh, we have a program accordingly and now we are going to burn this receiving sketch uh, on the board so first we will choose our board and that is the 
8 mega 3 to 8 and uh, just we'll burn and uh, this is process is going on and uh, it is uploading the sketch and uh, shortly you'll see it is then uploaded so now the receiving sketch is there uploaded on this board now I would like to share the thing how the joystick will work there you can see this diagram over there when we will uh, put our joystick in this extreme uh, top left corner then it will be the 0 0 and in the normal condition it will be at uh, 3 3 position and at the extreme bottom right corner it is if we put our joystick like that then it will be at 0.66 so when we'll move our joystick with the hand thumb and uh, the data will change what the joystick and this transmitter will transmit to the receiver so and another thing is also there that it is also having a small switch and we'll press this this joystick stick then the uh, momentary uh, switch will press and uh, the data related to that switch will also be updated so now we are going to power on this board and uh, we are going to open the serial port over there serial monitor and uh, you can see in the normal condition when we are not going to move this joystick it is giving the data that is 133 and uh, when we will move this at the left top corner it will be showing 100 this one is for the switch position in the normal position it is at 1 and if we press this joystick then it will be 0 the first digit will be 0 and it represents the condition of the switch if you release the switch then the position will be 1 and if we put this joystick in bottom right corner then it will indicate the 6 6 and again if we release this then it indicate 3 3 now we can understand this that whenever we will move this joystick accordingly the value will change so uh, in this way uh, by detecting the position of this joystick will be able to control the robotic vehicle if we connect it with a robotic vehicle thank you for watching